Hello, and welcome to the Isle, where today we're going to be playing a bit of Stegosaurus, something I've not played on this channel for a while. I, mean, I guess besides a tiny bit in one of the Hood Test videos. Uh, it's an interesting one. Uh, you become practically unassailable just wall once you're grown, but it has a very vulnerable growth and a very long and boring growth. So this is going to be interesting to try to do something with. Though, of course, first thing first, you gotta pick a skin, and... Dego, it has a ton of great options and not-so-great options all at the same time. And then we have the enhanced uh, default, which I, I do like. But I think I'm going to go for something a little bit plain, like a little bit not as conspicuous as, <laughs> as that or that, as much as I like my... Ow, uh, Stego. What my elephant Stego? I think I'm gonna go for this one. Very plain. Okay, it's brown. A lot of people don't like uh, non-vibrant skins like this, but honestly, kind of calls to me. Like I'm vibing with this right now. Seems like a very chill animal would have this skin, and that's what I'm gonna go for. But all right, let's get in here and. I have no clue where I am. Patrol spawned right next to me. Okay, I won't say no to that. Because Sanctuary Mushrooms aren't really something I need. Uh, as you can notice, I spawned with a full stomach, and that's partially because Stego grows a lot, and so its stomach grows a lot. But, yeah, what's happening right now, I've got 30% growth rate. 30% growth rate... And I've got 30% uh, of a, a diet, 30% dots, or hex, whatever you want to call them. And yeah, you can see little growth spurts, and that's making my hunger go down. But yeah, what I want to do is find... Oh, that's a blue bush right there. Is find any diets... That can get me up to 100% growth and beyond. So, interesting. We have a lot of hex around here. Okay. We've got a, uh, uh, whatever you call this thing, Azure Apollon K Trifolium. Ooh, ha. Ah. And this thing is absolutely massive. Like, it's got so much food in it that as a little tiny stegling, I'll be perfectly fine. But, okay, right, I'm near a coast somewhere. First order of business here. Figure out where I am, because then I can decide everything about how I'm growing this thing. This might actually be the perfect spot, all things considered. Uh, I will admit, I did try making this video before. I grew Stego for four hours. It was horrendously boring, and nothing happened. And then a Danasuchus ate me, and that was the end of that. And I spent all of that time in Swamp. Funny enough, it was when I finally left Swamp that Danasuchus got me at the Biodome Pond. Okay. I'm not quite sure where I am. That doesn't happen often. Huh. And it looks like this patrol might go a little bit onto the beach. Yeah, that looks like a diet plant there. Okay, interesting. But yeah, I spent the entire thing's growth in Swamp, and it was just nothing but S diets. Meanwhile, over here, I'm seeing nothing but Hex, which is a little bit interesting. But, yeah, this might be a very good place to grow, depending on, well, some variables. Because I don't know where I am. I mean, of course, I'm on the coast somewhere, which narrows it down quite a bit. But, hey, wait, actually, hold up. North, it's the east coast of the island. If I'm on the east coast of the island, that means... Am I roughly somewhere near where East Plains used to be? No, that those rocks over there don't look familiar at all. Okay, you know what? 
Wasn't there fresh water? I smelled fresh water nearby. There's a sanctuary. Well, actually, that narrows it down a ton. If there's a sanctuary, there's fresh water near it. And on top of that, I am on the east coast of the island. It is 100% uh, east plains. But man, we're gonna have to, like, change the name of that, aren't we? Like, we can't just keep calling it East Plains, because it literally is not a plane anymore. Like, people are either gonna call it East Lake or East Pond. The funny thing, people are probably gonna call it a pond, because it's got duckweed in it. Despite the fact that it's pretty large. In fact, I think it's larger than what we call a lake over in, uh... Northeast Plains. It's not going to be called Jungle in the way that you have like Center Jungle or you have like Northeast Jungle. Okay, yeah. So this is. You know, I'm going to call it East Lake. That's what I'm going to start calling it. And if you call it anything different, then you're wrong. And I hate you. Right. So this is where I'm going to be getting water. That's a bit of a risky proposition. There's a fair few Danos that make their home in here these days, especially because it's a new place. It's a bit more traffic because of that. And it's a pretty nice place for Dano as well. Very deep out in the middle. Hmm. And that could very well be the death of me. But this is basically how things are going to go. I am going to sit around here, doing nothing, uh, as I grow, until this patrol decides to die. And when this patrol decides that there's no more food in it, that's when I'm going to be forced to migrate. And hopefully, by the time I eat through this patrol, I will be big enough to fend for myself. I would really like to be large juvie, at the very least, maybe small sub-adult, by the time I get out of here. But until then, it's gonna be a long wait. Alright, it's been a little bit. We've had the first nightfall. 9% growth, 60% bonus. And yeah, now is a good time to show off what Stegosaurus's time looks like when it's night. Uh, very dark. Very scary, very spooky, especially with the storm and such. The thing is, it seems like, with how things currently are, uh, it seems migrations and patrol zones will have a dominant diet that you just find everywhere, and they'll have very rare occasional bits of other diets. So it's a matter of getting all those rarer diets and then filling up the difference with, uh, with the one you got a ton of. Now this is pretty much the hairiest thing I've got to do, is drink from this lake here. If there's a single Danosuchus in this pond, I, I keep calling that a pond even though it really I should call it a lake. But there's a single Danosuchus in here, that's the end of me. And that can be the end of me at any point that I need to drink. So this is the price I pay for not taking a reabsorption, so I just don't have to bother with them ever. But, part of the key of not dying to Danosuchus, the very inconspicuous show up, completely random interval in a completely random spot that's not... Uh, doesn't stand out at all. And just quickly go get what you need and leave. I'm at 98% of that diet, but you'll notice I still have 20% of my stomach space left. Meaning, go over here and just munch on some nice fireweed. Up until uh, I'm completely full. Okay, there we go. So now I've got 94% and 23. 
117% growth rate. And then I grew another 4%. All right. Now we're growing even faster than the standard 100%. Heck yeah. Uh, let's see. We're nearing the close of, what is it, the second day? And I'm pretty thirsty, but it takes me forever to drink. I drank one time off camera so far, and it was quite the harrowing experience. If there was a single Dana Sukis, an entire lake, pond, whatever you want to call it, it could have swum over and gotten me from seeing me across the other end. I was spending so long drinking. So I have what might be a little bit of an ace in the hole. Because the thing is, night vision is at absolute worst. Dawn and dusk. And Dana Suk, despite crocodiles actually having really good night vision in real life, uh, Dana Suk has garbage night vision. It's trash, just like mine. And considering how I can't see two feet in front of me whenever uh, dusk happens, this might be my chance to get a free drink in while nothing can be seen. And it's looking like that time's about now. I'm gonna risk it. Because any Dano around is gonna have a very hard time seeing. So let's just quickly get in here. It's gonna take an eternity to drink. That is true. But I'm hoping Cover of Darkness is gonna help me out here. Haven't heard any noise uh, other than that Nanto way a long time ago. Don't believe there's any migrations around here. It's been very, very quiet. Come on, just a couple more sips, and I'm in the clear. One more. Go, 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 go. Okay. Yeah, that's the most harrowing bit of this growth. Go into the water there, because that could just be instant death. Uh, I guess I'll give a couple thoughts on migration and such considering well well oh, more like the over the patrols uh in the time i've spent growing this thing and the four hours i grew my previous stego uh, i've noticed the patrols don't seem to be moving and i'm hoping that that changes because it's kind of allowed me just to stay still here like oh dang that is dark but yeah I've been just sitting here in this one area patrol spawned right next to me when I spawned and the same happened to me in swamp but swamp was also a migration so that got me to move in, in order to try to find more uh, diet plants from that migration but I'm noticing uh, like current system the current diet system is much better than it used to be. Um, I'm really liking it a lot more than what we previously had. Oh, uh, there's not that stupid. You get the 98% of a diet and it deactivates, not deactivates, it just doesn't activate, so you get no bonuses. Uh, that crap is gone, which is fantastic. Uh, absolutely amazing change. I like that we can get to greater than 100% growth if you get multiple diets and such, and that you can get that base 100% growth bonus just by going all in on one diet. Uh, patrol zones allowing you to stay away from migrations has been great because like little baby Stego, you're having a rough time in migrations. You have lots of competition with Stegos, uh, Dibbles, you have all the carnivores going there to kill ya. So it's nice being able to survive just somewhere else. But I will say, I feel like patrols need their own timer, like what uh, migrations do, to force you to move eventually. Because while you could have a concept of a uh, 
patrol zone be, oh, it just stays until you eat through it, and it's for your group, and it has less food than the migration, so, you know, naturally you're gonna find yourself. Alright, pull up. 130%, heck yeah. I think I might have the concept of, oh, it'll move once you eat everything in it, but even as a growing stego, it's been... I mean, okay, I've eaten through a few plants here, and eventually I will need to move, but likely, likely that I'm gonna stay here until I'm pretty far into Juvie, now with how things stand. Funny enough, the only thing that might make me move is the fact that the only water source there I am extremely suspicious of Danos being in it. But yeah, so far no interaction with any handle. It's been a very boring growth, but that's the uh, Stego experience. You just... I mean, when you're small, you want to be hidden, you want to be far away from things, you do not want to attract attention because, well, two factors really. For one thing, you're pretty weak, you're slow, you can't outrun anything, you're too small to fight them, and two, because you are growing one of the most powerful things in the game right now, it's kind of the same rules that people have for apexes, which is... If you see an apex before it's an adult, you murder that thing. You run that thing down and kill it because it is going to be an absolute monster once it's grown. So you've got to nip it at the bud. And here we are on the dawn of the third day? Third day? Fourth day? One of those two. Finally made it up to Juvie. Nearly 30% grown. Still keeping that 130% growth bonus. And yeah, aren't we looking nice now? Got that tiny bit of... I don't know if that's male coloration or if that's the uh, underbelly coloration on the plates. The uh, C pattern is a bit weird with what it puts on the plates, but it looks nice. And if you're wondering where I'm going, I'm going to check out the docks. I think I heard someone say that they added uh, drinkable water there. Oh! There's a patrol here for something that's not me. But I can eat it all I want. Okay, that's cool. So it looks like, yeah, just tons of hex, a little bit of S, so it's exactly the same as my previous one, but okay. Another herbivore somewhere around here, having a good time. If I were to guess, probably Packy. The only things I've heard are uh, baby Packies. I've only heard them like once or twice. And, ooh. Okay, that's new. Oh, hey, little guy. And little Packy roaming around. Okay, now I think it's over here would be the water that might be fresh. If not, I'm making a beeline towards the source I do know is fresh. There's no uh, AI spawns around here as far as I know, so odds are any carnivores don't really have a good time here. Oh, and... Oh, wait, no, this is all blocked off. Okay, might be a bit difficult to get down there. Oh, nope, there we go. Okay, is this still salt water or is this fresh water? And I've got to pick very quickly if I made the right choice or not. Okay, it's fresh water. Woo! Okay, that's great. That is actually fantastic, so this is perfect for me. Oh, hello. Looks like in route to the migration, I just came across a patrol zone that is full of food. Oh, heck yeah. Hmm. Dago's kind of a coastal animal with these things. Like, just being on the coast, I keep finding more and more food. Nice. Oh, and right there I can see... Mutation. That means, yep, 52% grown. 
I've got two subadult, 135% growth rate right now. Three tons. I weigh as much as a dibble right now. And oh boy, I can start throwing that weight around, can't I? Beautiful. Okay, let's get full up on this. Just a little bit of blue bush. And, oh, was that it? Was that the entire bush? Dang, I'm fat. That is 155% growth rate. I have passed the threshold of 150%. Oh, yes. So, after spending, what, 15 minutes or so wandering through the entire swamp, I've only found one diet, and it's in the middle of the sanctuary. But, I just noticed that my patrol zone changed. Now it's right here next to Swamp. And I am almost certain that thing is going to have tons of diets in it. So meanwhile, the entire migration, I mean, I went from River Delta all the way to the uh, western end of Swamp. That's what this is, right? Yeah, western end of Swamp. Not a single diet in sight, besides maybe one that was in the middle of the sanctuary, so completely inaccessible to me. Not a single diet in all the migration. And I wasn't taking a bad route either. I was going places I know I've seen diets at before. Uh, places that aren't, like, flooded and stuff. But, no, nothing. And, oh, oh that's too shallow to drink. But now, I've got a patrol zone here, and if I can fill up on diets here, honestly, I'm going to call it a session. Like, growing a Dego is grueling. Not because it's particularly difficult, but just because it's pretty boring. Uh, there's not much for you to do, it's a very long growth. And right now, current system, it seems to be, uh, well, pretty easy to try to get some diet, at least early on. I mean, now I'm at the point where I'm starting to, like, eat through entire bushes in one bite. So maybe my uh, food situation will get worse. But getting to this base level of growth where now I'm, I mean, let's look at it. I'm... 3.6 tons. I'm bigger than a Dibble now. 61% grown, so I'm... Actually, yeah, because Dibble's the next biggest uh, herbivore. I believe right now I am the biggest thing in the game, uh, besides like a similarly sized Danesuchus. Biggest thing on the land, I guess, is the way to put it. And it didn't take all that much, all I had to do was sit in the patrol zone, and boom, there's- Oh, heck yeah, diets galore. I say that as there's only like three S's, but hey, better than nothing. But what- You were right there! You were right there! I saw you! Okay, you know what? You know what? I don't care what that's saying. There's a migration over here. From the looks of it, it's north- Oh. What was that? Hmm. Oh. Hello there. Oh, we got a little new guy. Alright. We can have him tag along. Yeah, spots like this, pretty good to drink at, normally. Uh, of course I could eat my words at any second, but the deal is... Very small area, uh, not really, uh... I mean, just completely ignoring that there's, like, that little, uh, tree there. Small area, separated by two waterfalls. If a Dano was in here, it would have to be just in this little area to catch anything around here. It wouldn't be able to see me drinking down there and go, oh, I'm gonna go there. 
it would just not be able to do that. So it's not likely that there would be one here, especially considering that this is a low traffic area. Okay, that is very good. That is... So oh, great. I'm not even caring about the nutrients, like, trying to min-max them now. I want food. This has been a bit enlightening. The random patrol zone seems to be better than the migrations right now, which is a bit odd. A bit backwards. This just goes to show how one Stegosaurus can completely consume an area. Just look at this. I'm just running through all these plants, consuming so many diets. Like, this would be a paradise for this guy alone. But I'm just eating through it on one stomach. It is crazy. I am so adult, right? Oh no! I'm a proper adult now. 4.6 tons, 47% grown. Let's go! Alright, so this is proper adult growth right now. Nice. Oh, can I even fit here? Ooh. Barely. <laughs> oh yeah, if you see it from here. Oh, that's pretty. I got my little noob friend. I've got just showing him around the map. I didn't even think it was that close, or it'd be that pretty. Please do not fall off a cliff. Please do not fall off a cliff. I would be so sad. <laughs> that's great. Okay, let's hope there's not the uber rare Dano in here. That would be incredibly sad. Now oh, this is such a lovely spot. I love this little pond. Massive waterfall. Even if it's a little bit loud. Hey, and the baby! Uh, two little babies. Very cute. We got lots of action up here. We got some terrors flying around. We got babies hopping to and fro. Lovely. Oh, hello, Packies. Let's see what they do. Very trusting. <laughs> well, that was cute. Didn't seem to be full grown adults. I think those were uh, sub adults at best. Looked like they had a. Uh, milk coloration was a bit splotchy on the head. Had some spikes on the back of the head. A little bit prominent. Empty. Empty. I'm starting to think these things just spawn empty. I'm really starting to think. I have not seen a single one of these bushes that has actually had anything on it in all the hours I have been growing. Like, look, another empty one. Like, am I to expect... Like, am I expected to believe that those two... Uh, ooh, actually, something I can eat. Yay. Am I expected to believe that those two, like, sub-adult, at best, packies just ate this entire area dry? I'm not so sure about that. 
So oh, hold up. Woo! 100% grown after all of this time. Finally! Okay, let me help you, little guy. Let me help you. Oh, why is it in my mouth? <laughs> Oh, it's dead. Okay. <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna start doing... I'm just gonna start eating migrations that aren't even mine. I've got all the diets I need. I mean, I'm 100% grown, so like, what do I care if I just eat this agave right here? Oh, this your patrol zone? Well, sucks to suck. Oh, and something else I noticed a second ago. The uh, stencil outline you see uh, in the night vision, it follows where your camera is. So if you like zoomed in, you can see in front of you, like directly in front of you really well. If you zoom out, not so much. So that's an interesting thing to note. What is that? What is down there? Oh! That's a whole pack of Dilos. That's actually a little bit scary, middle of the night. And the night is pretty young. They could actually do a number on me if they decide to go in for a fight. Looks like they've got one, maybe two bodies down there they're eating from. Hmm. Now there's three Dilos, they got a body of something. Oh wait, four? Oh, that's four Dilos. Yeah. That's fairly scary, actually. So they seem to be content on that body, if they've even seen or heard me up here. Ah oh man, on the one hand it's like I, I want to fight, I want something to happen in this thing's life, but on the other hand, four Dilos at, like, in the middle of the night. Pretty scary, because I know what happens to, uh, Dego whenever they get in a bite or two at night and you get full envenomated. Not good for you. The thing is, some people will try to, like, force a fight with those Dilos and, like, run in and try to, like, bodyguard the corpse and whatever. I'm just not about that. I can hear lots of noises there. Like, if they want to hunt me, so be it. It's like, I'm not gonna hunt them or even attempt to hunt them because, I mean, I'm a freaking Stego. They can just run away if they don't want to engage. It's kind of nice playing something that is defensive. Like, if I run into a fight, I'm not running from it. I am... I'm going down swing, or they're going down, dying horribly. There's no in-between. Lots of Herrera sounds. Lucky for me, Herreras are not a threat at all with the ludicrous amount of health I have. Oh, there he is. Majestic. But funny enough, even if I was just a tiny little uh, baby Stego, you have an incredibly good matchup. You do. You have an incredibly good matchup against Herrera. Because uh, your plates completely negate damage. Whenever they try to hop in from above, it's just hilarious because they do nothing to you and even a baby Stego has really good, uh, really good tail. I can just do a number on him. Don't know what this guy's doing. 
If you want me to kill you, just hit me once and I'll do it for you. Oh, hey, raptors. Yeah, buddy, you're on your own. If they pin you, I'm not. I'm not fighting them. I'm letting nature take its course. That's three Dilos. Four. You get away from me. I don't want. Ooh. Oh, big Dano, and he is moving fast. Okay, there is a lot of activity here. Jeez. Is that the same group? I don't know if it is. Wise decision. Yeah, it looks like they might be hunting the raptors or something. Which it looks like... Oh, there's a sizable raptor pack there too. You get my personal space, I'm swinging. I'm just... passing through. Jeez, that's a lot of carnivores. <laughs> Apparently this is where everyone was at. This whole time. And no wonder there's a mega pack symbol there. Corpses everywhere. Yeah. You know, the whole, uh, game of spawn points, it did help with hot spots, though. Pretty evident right here. Yeah, South Plains is still just so full of stuff. Kind of sad. There's so many other lovely areas of the map. No, oh, well, let's do a big old wallow. I'm kind of curious how my, uh, night camouflage looks with mud. Eh, about the same. And don't think I don't see you. You get my personal space, I will obliterate you. You know, this whole walk through South Plains is really just a testament to how much of a behemoth Stego is. Like, this thing is pieced through strength, the animal. Like, I can walk through a pack of raptors, a bunch of dilo I mean, four dilos at night. There might be eight dilos in this area total, unless that's the same pack and they went around or whatever. I don't know. Like, I can just walk through all of that, and no one wants to mess with me. No one feels like dying today. <laughs> no one wants to end up on a t-shirt. And it's honestly the smart choice for them. Meanwhile, if I was playing anything else, anything, like minus Dano, because it's kind of exempt from all the rules ever. Oh, hey, a single bit of hex. Yummy. Like, if I was playing Tenno, just gone. If I was playing Dibble, oh yeah, they would, even though Dibble's really powerful, they would want to have a field day with me, especially since they could just surround me. But Stego, they would just like, nah, we're not, we're not messing with this guy. And you might have been wondering in that little bit why I didn't do, like, the raise the tail up with right click. And that's because that extremely limits your angle of attack. I mean, sure, it's a powerful move, but you can only hit, like, in there, or in there. Meanwhile, right now, as you can see, I am alt-looking. Is it alt or is it control? It's alt. When I'm using my free look with alt, I can decide to hit in any direction. And you can hit to the side fairly fast without the wind-up that the, uh like, charged attack is. And up against many things, that 
alt attack is super deadly. I mean, that was that goes to default attack forever. So, yeah, it's a little bit more flexible. Like, if I was in, like, a proper fight with them, maybe I'd start using the uh, charged attack. But for a first hit, something that people... I kind of don't expect these days, because Stegos really want to use that uh, charge attack. They really want to mess around with it, especially now that the uh, default attack is changed. So it's a bit weird, where it's like, oh, you gotta like hold down right-click to use the tail. Meanwhile, like as an example right now, now that I'm far away from everything, like, okay, let's say Dilo was right next to me on my left, and let's say it got too close, then I would just go... BAM! And... Yeah, he has no indication that I was about to do that. And he would die horribly. Or take a huge amount of damage. But, heck, a single Dego tail swing to the body is something that big. If you don't die, you're on the verge of death and you're out of the fight. You are just down and out. So yeah, having made the incredible, or rather incredibly boring, journey from little baby Steg to full-grown Stegosaurus, uh, what are the takeaways? Oh, for one thing, Stegosaurus is pretty boring at the moment. Uh, two migrations, at least for Stego, I don't know if it's different with other herbivores right now, but I have a sneaking suspicion that it isn't different. Uh, right now, current build of the game, it appears that patrols are just outright better than migrations. Like, if I were to completely ignore my migration and just pick a random direction and go, maybe there's a patrol zone, maybe not even my own, maybe just some random creature has a patrol zone somewhere, and I'm gonna go eat from that. I would have more diets and more hunger right now than I have actually going to my proper migration. And that's even if the migration was, well, working properly, because last session they were like bouncing around from place to place, had no clue what zone was active or not. And I don't know exactly why it is. Or like, maybe it's just swamp migration is super bad about it. Like, I just went through the entire thing and it seems to only be like one half a swamp, but... Yeah, I got practically nothing. I, I say practically nothing, I got nothing. I didn't smell a single plant that entire time. Like, I don't know if it's a matter of just where it's spawning the food, how sparsely it's spawning it. Like, if I were to guess, if I were to just hazard guess uh, what's going on with it, it feels like... It feels like migrations and patrols spawn the same amount of food. I'm not saying this is the case, I don't know. I'm just saying what it feels like. It feels like migrations and patrols spawn like the exact same amount of food but the migration decides okay we're gonna put this food and here and spread it out over like a square mile so you just have like a whole square mile or heck like two three square miles and we're gonna put this food spread out let's evenly disperse it across those miles meanwhile a patrol zone feels like okay we have the same amount of food but we're gonna spread it out over a football field. So what happens is patrol zones just become better in every way because it's the same amount of food, but in a far smaller area. So you can easily get to it, easily eat it all, uh, and heck, you're not gonna have uh, intraspecies competition, really. I mean, you might. Someone might get the same patrol zone as you, but the odds of that are pretty low as opposed to Everyone has the same migration. But, alright. I think it's about high time to call it here. We can end things right on a beach on the opposite end of the island from where we started. Shows how far the Stego has come. And just have a nice rest on a lovely rainy day. But alright, that's about it. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.